Okay, here we have a simple inventory related question, but I guess it's not so simple because there's actually two steps to it. But here's our question. Ming Company has budgeted sales at 6,300 units for the next fiscal year and desires to have 590 good units on hand at the end of that year. Beginning inventory is 470 units. Ming has found from past experience that 10% of all units produced do not pass final inspection and must therefore be destroyed. How many units should Ming plan to produce in the next fiscal year? Well, we can put this together in just a very simple formula. If we take beginning inventory and we add to that what it is that they're going to produce and we subtract from that the number of units that are going to be sold. Okay, we've got some number that is going to be sold. We're told what that budgeted number is and that's going to be equal to our ending inventory. Now they've given us three of the numbers. They've told us that the beginning inventory is 470 units. They've told us that we desire to have 590 units in ending inventory. And they've told us that we have a budgeted sales of 6,300 units for the upcoming year. And so what we end up with here is a nice little formula. 470 plus X minus 6,300 equals 590. And this just becomes solving for x. Okay, we solve for x and we get x is equal to 6,420. Okay, 6,420 is what it is that they need to actually produce in order to be able to achieve the sales and the ending inventory goal that they have. Now there's very good news for us right here. And the good news for us is that this 6,420 isn't a choice. Okay, we were lucky here. If I'd been making this question, I probably would have made 6,420 one of the choices. But since it's not the choice, we know that something still needs to be done. And it comes back to this 10%. They tell us that 10% of all units produced do not pass final inspection. And so what that means is we need to have 6,420 units pass final inspection and of those units that are produced only 90 percent of them are going to pass final inspection so x becomes the number of units that ultimately needs to be produced so that we end up with 6420 good units we do the math and what we get is that x is equal to 7000 133 and fortunately for us 7133 is actually a choice two steps to this question we need to figure out first of all how many units good units we need to produce and then the correct answer is how many units do we need to start production on in order to be able to do all of this giving given the fact that 10 percent of all of the units that we start production on are not actually going to com be completed and pass final inspection. So it's a two-step question. Neither of the steps are difficult. It's just important that we recognize those two steps, which we will because the first step, what we get is our answer after the first step, isn't one of the choices. So when we do both steps, we get the correct answer, which is 7,133 units is how many units Ming needs to start in order to be able to achieve their goals for sales and ending inventory.